We're back with Hannah and she is entering week 20 of our ACL program. And so we're gonna show you a couple of those drills like grapevines, hamstring flicks, and all the new single leg hop stuff. Just a few of those things that she's finding difficult, but also the new stuff that's coming in this week. So with her grapevines, which is really important for her agility, if you just show us that grapevine for me, Hannah, what she's having trouble with is when she's going fine going that way, when she comes back, she has problems going that way. And it's when her left leg goes behind her right. Do you want to show us that again? So this way is fine because she's going lateral. Okay, so lateral with the left leg. Remember, the left leg's the ACL one. The left leg is also the MCL. So the reason why she's having trouble that way is because of her MCL. Plus, people with ACLs will still have a little bit of trouble as well. But it's that medial force of her leg going behind her where she needs her stability. So she feels a bit, what, sluggish? Is that what you'd feel? Yeah, it's a little bit sluggish. But that's something that she knows if she improves that, her agility is going to be heaps better. So that's the first one. The second thing is the hamstring flex. Now, this tests the hamstring power. Prior to this, like about four weeks ago, she was having trouble with the range. So just try that hamstring flick for me. So she's doing little skip, like flicks we call them. If you notice, when she's walking, the right one's moving fine, it's going up high enough, the left one is not getting high enough. Now, originally that was due to hamstring strength and knee stiffness, but now the knee stiffness is gone mostly, it's all about the power. So she needs to do this, one, as conditioning, but two, as a test, can she get her hamstring hoiking her leg up and deflection high enough. And if she gets it high enough, she knows her hamstring strength is up to speed. So that's really important for her. So those ones were last stage, they're continuing on the stage because she's still having problems with them as well. Now, jumping. The jumping actually, we'll do the, this one first. The jumping where she's doing a single leg hop for distance is really important. That's gonna be one of our tests coming up next session, which we'll video for you. Originally, she was doing a star pattern. Do you want to show us a star pattern for me? So last time, yep, so forward, this back, yep. yep. She was learning how to go, can I hop forward? Can I hop back? Can I hop left? Can I hop right? Okay. Now, what she's had to get good at, if you notice, is actually absorbing the pressure, bending your knee, bending your hip. When people first start off this, they sort of jump and land and get a real sort of jarry feeling. Now she's learned that in a small hop. However, we have to get that to a big hop because we've got to return to sport. We need a single leg hop for distance test as a drill. So for her, what she's going to do is choose a line. She's going to jump forward as far as she can, but she's got to land the same way she lands like that. She's got to land and absorb the pressure. Do you want to show us that for me? So she's just starting this one. <laughs> so she's got to land forward and stick the jump. As far forward again. So you can see she's almost overkilting there. So let's try that one again. She's got four weeks to get good at this. That's not bad, okay? So she's finding it really hard, but that's normal to find it hard. You know, this is a sort of a, a new thing for her. There's a lot of load going through the knee. But once she perfects that, it's one of the tests that gives her a tick to return to sport training. So as part of that, we're gonna do a single leg hop for distance and crossover. I'll show you that next time. But the new ones to help her with crossovers, okay, are jumping up laterally. So she's been jumping forward, she's been jumping sideways, she's been doing medial and lateral hops all on the ground. So hopping left and right, it's all preparing her to be able to hop up onto a box laterally, okay? Now I'll show you the one where she hops up. Is that gonna be too high for you? Uh, yeah, we'll do two legs first, then we'll do one. Okay, so to this for a box jump, we'll do the two leg rotate and then we're going to do the lateral one. So try that two leg rotate one. So this is like a box jump, but she's got to go and rotate and land on the box. Now, if you watch this, I mean, she's practiced for 10 minutes, she's doing pretty well already. This is pretty good. Some people find one way harder than going the other way, it may just be depending on how their knee control is. What she's aiming for when she lands, try to come up here again, she's just making sure that she doesn't, when she lands, she doesn't go and then do this, okay? So she doesn't want to have a medial movement or valgus stress on that knee when she lands because that's how things, bad things can happen. So she's got to learn to control that. So therefore, you've just got to make sure this box 
isn't too high. So don't overcook it with a huge high box and try and get as high as you possibly can for strength and sacrifice the control. So better to be on a lower box, get the control first, then you can build up higher and higher and higher. Her box can actually go higher this at home, which is good. So she's got a lot of scope to practice on. You can see how she's nicely squatting on that. She's not landing and just jarring her knees. She's using all of her legs to absorb the pressure. The key is use the hip to help the knee because remember the hip, that's where the power comes from, but also that's the control of the knee. If you're not bending at the hip and using your glute, you're not gonna control your knee very well when you land. So it's very important. At the same time, you can't let your knee roll in. So the glute needs to be up to speed and up to strength and that's why she's been doing so much single leg glute work so she can finally get to this stage. So that's your box jump rotation. Now, if we take this down a stage just for learning purposes, she'll eventually go back up to that, okay? Probably no more than 20 centimeters or 25 centimeters on a lateral hop. She's gonna go from one leg, hop up sideways and hop down, all right? Now, the easiest way to start this is go especially if it's an ACL or MCL, is go lateral. If you've had an LCL, of course, going medial. But for today's purposes, remember, she's got an ACL with an MCL. So she wants to go lateral to learn because it's going to be more stable going laterally than it is going medially. So if you come here from here, so she's going to face me. Right, yep. yep. And go from left onto the box. Good. <laughs> and then practice again. But the thing is, remember, practice makes permanent, if you like. So she's got to learn how to Good yeah, <laughs> bend and land. There, a nice little bend there. And then again, there, she's squatting down. Okay, and that's how you get the absorption. That's how you get the control. Try again for me. So if you're going to learn this stuff week 20, do it lateral first before you do it medial. Now, if she doesn't medial, she'll have to start from this side and go this way. That's it. Now if we show you this way around, see what she's doing. Okay, so she's going to go medial, land onto the box in the middle, and then across again. And this gets her used to sort of this jumping sideways in the air. pretty good at that. The next thing we're going to try and get her doing is rotating. So she's got to then go from the ground and rotate and land on the box 90 degrees. So when you're doing this, you want to land so you're facing lengthways on the box. You don't want to be landing that way because you might miss it. Okay, so you're always landing in the middle of the box, landing that way. Therefore, to start, she's got to start this way and then rotate. Okay, and again, if you rotate, so for her left leg, she rotates left, that's lateral, so it's going to be easier. If she rotates right, it's going to be medial. And then she's going to rotate back that way. Okay, so it's forward, sideways, forward. Same drill. Land in the middle of the box. Good. Now most of the rotation is going to happen in the air. Okay, we're trying, we're trying to get her brain saying, do it in the air. So there's less twisting on the ground. There will be some twisting on the ground, like a little bit, and that's normal. But we don't want a big wrenching around so she's trying to wrench herself off the ground. She's got to learn to actually engage it and twist and use her body to rotate in the air. So she's teaching the agility part of the whole body so she does it mid-air. Now, going medial is going to be from here facing this way and this is where she's going to find this harder. See that? So you see it's a little bit, her brain's not quite getting that. Yeah, yeah, there we go, facing me, rotate right medial, pretty good stuff, okay? So that's entering, entering week 20, just a few of the things she's working on. She's also working, like I said, on crossover hops, single leg hop for distance, and we're going to show you those next time and show her progress on how she's going this week. See you then.